According to the Venus Project, all people will live in self-contained smart cities, but not as energy intensive as they are today. Jacques Fresco paid a lot of attention to alternative power sources that extract energy from wind, sun, and tides. He believed that we should give up burning fuel completely. And the real obstacle to this is the biggest companies that extract and sell such fuels. And here too, Fresco is not alone. Many believe that it is lobbying for oil companies that slows down the development of electric cars around the world. Do you agree? Let us know your opinion in the comments. And we, for our part, believe that a smart city is only a matter of time. And even if we don't have them soon, sooner or later, they will appear for sure. One idea is the lack of private property ownership, which is the subject of serious criticism. One of Fresco's highlights, in his opinion, everything should be accessible to everyone, but not owned by anyone like books and libraries or car sharing. There's no unambiguous views. In recent years, all analysts have said that the new generation does not want to buy apartments, cars, or even bicycles, preferring rent instead of ownership. The trend towards a service economy is unlikely to change, even in the current situation, when personal things are safer than public ones. Fresco believed that in the future, we would all wear devices that contain information about our health, which will make it easier, for example, to serve diabetics and allergy sufferers in restaurants, as well as facilitate the work of doctors. Such gadgets were developed and have been around for a long time already, and the fitness bracelet industry is only slightly showing how clever and useful these medical devices can be. In his project, Jacques Fresco paid great attention to the oceans. He suggested covering large areas with domes to collect drinking water from the condensation without wasting energy. He also wanted to create treatment facilities right on the bottom of the floating houses. And if we have floating houses, why not equip their underwater parts with robotic waste collection systems? Anyway, robots to clean the oceans are just necessary. As a matter of fact, PayPal founder Peter Thiel plans to create a floating city of free people. For this purpose, he founded a nonprofit organization, Seasteading Institute and the government of French Polynesia has given the institute a coastal area for construction. The launch of the city was planned for 2020, but since has been postponed. Let's not forget the Venus Project and space, and in it, the mankind has nothing to do, considers Fresco, until we solve the issues of peace, i.e. completely rejecting the idea of war. Because otherwise, sooner or later, outer space will be a new battlefield. Fresco has created many models of space uninhabited stations and warehouses. Let them look like toys. The engineer knew how each of them should work and his concept of uninhabited stations, which are managed from Earth, with the help of robotic avatars. Today, this is what all the major space agencies in the world are concerned about creating. The creator of the Venus Project truly hated politicians, because any of them could make mistakes and most could be bribed. Jacques Fresco saw the way out of this situation by removing people from government and giving all the issues important to society to artificial intelligence. At the same time, AI should not be managed by people. It only solves technical issues related to the processing of large data. In other words, it's not even a question of general artificial intelligence, but only of individual systems capable of controlling, for example, global logistics or agriculture. Technology is seen here as an extension of human capabilities, as a smartphone that allows to call loved ones from anywhere in the world. Now, already, some states are experimenting with the use of artificial intelligence in the judicial system. For instance, a big bank in Russia fired many lawyers, replacing them with smart machines. Not so distant future. The main thing is that it doesn't lead to the script shown in the movie, Special Opinion, with Tom Cruise. By the way, Klaus Schwab, in his book, The Fourth Industrial Revolution, expresses the opinion that a number of functions of self-government and lawmaking in the future will be shifted to citizens. Yes, today, many ideas of the Venus Project seem to be unfeasible, utopian, or unfinished. But they do inspire new inventors, and whether they remain utopian or become a reality in 50 to 100 years depends on us, the choice we can make. Let's hear below. What do you think about the Venus Project? Like this video and subscribe to our channel. A special thanks to YouTube channels Jacques Fresco and the Venus Project and DP Tech for helping us prepare this video.